Welcome to the international press launch of the Artyun and Artyun Shooting Break R. This, or something like this, is actually what I had in mind for you, but unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we can't meet in person. That's why we've summarized all the information on the new Artyun R and Artyun R Shooting Break in this video. You'll be hearing from the head of sales, Peter Joost, and the head of engineering at R, Jan Schiedegjach. Furthermore, I've asked racing legend Hans-Jochen Stuck about his experience with the Artyun R. So, without further ado, here are the facts and figures on these two great cars. Let's start by looking at the exterior. The Artyun R is all about understatement, which is why the features that distinguish it from the classic Artyun are rather subtle. R-style bumpers at the front with distinctive air inlets, the two additional water coolers and to ventilate the brakes and an unobtrusive spoiler lip. Here, form follows function. A concept that's also true for the restyled alloy wheels with 18-inch alloys fitted as standard and 19 or redesigned 20-inch wheels available as optional extras. The wheels have to be this large to provide enough space for the R's much larger braking system. On the new 18-inch brakes the dimensions of the discs increase to 357 by 34 millimeters. The brakes feature two-piece rotors with an aluminium hat, which means a weight reduction of 600 grams per side. At the rear is a newly designed R-Type bumper. A sport quad exhaust system makes for an engine note you'd expect from this kind of car. A glance at the cabin reveals an interior that's been enhanced with R-style design cues. New seats with integrated headrests and R-logoed backrests. An R-style sports steering wheel with large paddle shifters making for fast manual gear changes when cornering. The aluminium trim inlays and the optional R-style seat leather boast a carbon finish. And of course there's lots of blue, the R's hallmark color. Not just in the contrast stitching, but also in the layout of the digital instruments and naturally as the default setting of the ambient lighting which offers 30 colors to choose from. Like its siblings that don't carry an R badge, this Artyan is a Gran Turismo with ample space. Its boot volume is what you'd expect from a full-blown estate and its large wheelbase makes for lots of legroom. The shooting brake's roofline gives passengers almost 5 cm more headroom. With this much space, the Artyan R, and in particular the R shooting brake, can easily accommodate tall passengers and lots of luggage. But the best thing about an R model is, of course, its powertrain. In this case, powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder TSI of the latest generation EA888 EVO 4 unit. A high-tech engine delivering 235 kilowatts or 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque, while at the same time consuming only 7.7 .7 to 7.9 liters over 100 kilometers. This engine delivers refined performance and takes both RTNRs from rest to 100 kph in only 4.9 seconds with an electronically limited top speed of 250 kph which can be increased to 270 kph by optioning the R-Performance package. But those are just figures. Engine responsiveness, grip, driving dynamics, that's where the Artyon R excels. Thanks to a very special piece of technology, it's full motion all-wheel drive with R-Performance torque vectoring. A special rear differential that automatically distributes torque between the wheels. Specifically, the engine's power is not just distributed between the front and rear axles, but also between the left and right rear wheels. This is made possible by two extremely fast-acting electrically actuated multiple disc clutches. When cornering, the outside wheel will always get exactly the amount of power required by the driving situation. The suspension setup has been tailored specifically for the Artyon R. It translates the driver's steering input with great precision and delivers accurate feedback from the road. 
In doing so, it makes for both dynamic handling and a poised ride. The Artyanar's specially developed tires deliver excellent road holding capabilities. And to ensure you can enjoy this kind of performance in the long term, you can reorder the exact same tires when the first set is worn down. Incidentally, the driver can change the setup of the torque vectoring and driving dynamics systems using the standard fit driving mode selection feature. In the Artyan R, the special R button on the steering wheel will take you straight to race mode or comfort mode if you want to relax. But actually, with this car, sport is the name of the game. It goes without saying that the standard fit DCC can also be personalized with a slider familiar from other models. To conclude this facts and figures section on the Artyan R and Artyan R shooting brake, let's take a quick look at its prices and market launch. The Artyan R is priced at 63,095 euros, the R shooting brake at 63,980 euros. The order book is already open and we expect the first cars to hit the showrooms in April. This concludes our short portrait of this exceptional and refined executive cam motorway cruiser. Have fun with the all new Artyan R. Volkswagen. The big challenge was to take the Artyan with its strong character and to turn it into an R model, in other words to give it the genes of an R model on top of everything else it has to offer. Two examples of how we did that. I think we did a particularly good job on the powertrain, an engine delivering 320 horsepower and 420 newton meters of torque, combined with the R performance all-wheel drive. This system makes it possible to vary torque smoothly between the two rear wheels, which not just improves body control, but also considerably enhances driving dynamics. Now obviously a powerful drive system needs a powerful brake, which is why the Artyon R is fitted as standard with an 18-inch braking system on the front axle with brake discs almost 36 centimeters in diameter. Not only does this brake do a great job at braking, it also looks great, especially in combination with this 20-inch R Stein wheel. The Artyon R thus combines the Artyon's everyday practicality with the performance features of a genuine R model. And these features can be adjusted and fine-tuned anytime by choosing the appropriate driving mode. As a result, the Artyon R is great fun to drive, not just when traveling long distances on the motorway, but also, and in particular, on twisty country roads. And from my own experience, I can tell you that this car also feels at home on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. The new Artyon R is a convincing proposition with its agility and sportiness, but of course also with its distinctive design. I always say, this car is a face in the crowd, it just demands to be noticed. But its sensational design is not confined to the exterior. Let's take a look at the cabin and I'll show you some of the highlights. We asked our customers about their expectations in terms of cabin refinement and we took their answers very seriously. This, for example, is a high-grade carbon finish dash insert and it's illuminated too. And there are the very distinctive sports seats with integrated headrests. Not only do they look fantastic, they also have lots of lateral support and they're extremely comfortable, which is good to know when you're going to spend several hours driving on the motorway. The R-specific sports steering wheel is also quite distinctive. It feels great in the hands and features extra large panel shifters. On the steering wheel, you'll also find an R button that lets you choose between the different driving modes, comfort, sport, race and individual. 
Just press the R button to switch from one mode to the next. If you want to go straight to race mode, just press and hold the R button and the car will have a completely different suspension setup and sound. The torque splitter will also react differently. So basically, what you get is a completely different car at the push of a button and without having to take your hands off the steering wheel. With the all-new Artyon R, our customers will always be perfectly dressed. It's an athlete in a suit, if you like. We're convinced that Volkswagen R's premium customers, with their affinity for design and performance, will be enthralled by this car. The corner exit acceleration of that car is just unbelievable. Is there anything more enjoyable than driving a great powerful car on a mountain road? I just love it. Right. That was fun. Great ride. And now we've reached our destination, the end of the famous Kesselberg track between the town of Kochel and Lake Walchensee, where my father set a record in 1936. I've driven this car for about 1000 kilometers now, on motorways, country roads, mountain roads, you name it, and I have to say, it's been great fun. What a fine car. This really is an all-round car. For sporty driving, for track day use, for long distances, whether you're traveling alone or with your family, this car is the perfect companion. And that's what I like so much about it. So how did Volkswagen do it? Well, for one thing, and that's very important, they did an excellent job on the engine. It's a four-cylinder unit delivering an astounding 320 horsepower, turbocharged obviously, and this engine gives you everything you need, power, massive torque and instant responsiveness with no turbo lag whatsoever. It's a perfect combination of driving pleasure, ride comfort and efficiency. We're driving through town at a leisurely 50 kph and you don't even notice that you've got 320 horsepower under the bonnet. And that's great, but when you need them, they'll be right there, giving you a lot of fun and a feeling of safety, because overtaking is much safer with lots of power under the bonnet. I really like the front-end design, very impressive, the new large air intakes, which serve two important purposes. First, to cool the water, you know when you drive fast, you'll have to make sure to cool the water properly. Second, to cool the newly engineered braking system. The brakes have been enhanced and enlarged, and to me, the brakes are an essential part of any car. They've got to be fade resistant and the pedal needs to tell you exactly what the brake is doing. And it certainly does that on the new Artyon R. The wheelbase of the new Artyon R is 2.8 meters, unbelievable and great of course in terms of stability and comfort, especially when going through fast autobahn curves. The new Artyon R's running gear has it all, with its assistance systems and everything. All-wheel drive, of course, plus the new electronic differential lock on the front axle, torque vectoring, everything you need to improve body control. You can go through fast autobahn curves with great precision and without any body roll. And when you accelerate out of the curve, the power will be sent to the rear wheel that provides the best traction. And that's what gives the car its poise and confidence. Even now, as we're driving through these tight and slippery corners, you accelerate and the car will always stay on track. It gets the power down with impressive grip, really nice. And the steering is incredibly precise too. I just turned the steering wheel once and I'm all set. I don't really have to do a lot of steering. So for someone who loves to drive and go through curves, the Artyon R is a great pleasure. A long wheelbase, lots of cabin space, as you can see. There's even enough space for big blocks like us. That's because the long wheelbase makes for a lot of cabin space. And check this out, an astounding 560 liters of boot space on the shooting brake definitely make this an all-round car. It's a combination of things, you know. This car is an all-purpose grand tourer. You can drive fast, 
You can take it to the Nürburgring or any other racetrack, or you can do what we're doing, cruising at a leisurely pace or go on a family outing, no problem. It's all about this fantastic combination. One of the new Artyonar's distinguishing marks, the quad exhausts, producing the kind of exhaust note you want to hear. It's just great to feel those 320 horsepower when you step on it, isn't it? And the way it accelerates out this corner is just mind-blowing. The new Arjunar has a super uncluttered dashboard, everything's in the right place, no knick-knack, super job. And the seats, fantastic, with good lateral support for all heights. You know what they say, a good seat makes you a better driver. Another important aspect of driving a car is that seat of the pants feeling, if you know what I mean. You're sitting in the car and your bottom tells you what the car is doing, right? It tells you about the suspension, any bumps in the road, whether the car is skidding over or under steering, etc. And in this car, that seat of the pants feeling is always spot on. And that's something you won't find every day. And why this car is such an excellent ride. Even when I floor the gas pedal in second gear on this wet road, the car always stays on track thanks to all those little helpers like all-wheel drive, torque vectoring and the new electronic diff lock on the front axle. And as a racing driver, I just love those paddle shifters on the steering wheel that let you change gears manually. I just love to give my own input and to impose my will on the car. Important functions are accessible right here on the steering wheel without having to take your eyes off the road. That's very well thought out, also from a safety point of view. When I want to do some sporty driving, I don't have to fumble with the display. I just press this R button and it takes me straight to race mode. In other words, you can turn this car into the ultimate sports car at the push of a button. I've been involved in the Artyon since 2017. I've driven it a lot, including almost a thousand kilometers on the new Artyon R just now. And I think it's time to pay a compliment to the boys from the R team. What you've done here is top notch. Thank you very much.